we are, Roger Clemens, MVP Baseball, again. And we'll start that timer, and hopefully just get straight on with it. We're slowly working our way through September, closer towards the end of the season. Although we're two games behind now, so I think I'm going to actually have to make sure that I don't lose. McDougal. Crabs and Eagles. Off we go again. Do, 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 do. To a good start here. I was watching a bit of Tommy Disorder earlier. The I just had a quick flick because I was trying to remember what it was like, and I forgot how like weighty the ball is in that game. Like when you, woo, oh, I thought it was still batting. When you um, hit the ball, like it has a proper thud and doesn't travel very fast in the fielding. So I guess this game does have a probably a bit, a little bit more of a sense of speed. Throwing back is slow though, but the fielding is quite fast. Ooh. Field him. Oh, 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 a home run. Did that naughty fastball. Wrong way. Hornbaum. One to watch. Bunt him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Which bit are you referring to when you do that? Do, 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 do. Is it do 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 that bit? Do 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 do. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh well, two home runs. I have a terrible sneeze coming on. A choop. Whoops, reset. Whoops. Yeah, I'm up. Oh, there's no point. There's no point wasting 20 minutes to discover that, yeah, I have actually lost. <laughs> don't think there's any surprises coming. Unless I'm gonna, you know, suddenly... I mean, yeah, I mean it's, it's possible, but I just can't be bothered to find out in inning nine that, yeah, I have lost and I shouldn't have continued. But then again, even like last night, was it... The computer got like seven points in the eighth inning. 
run in, whatever. I don't mind not scoring at the start, but I'm not with the computer getting like two bloody home runs. I do think there is a slight rubber banding in this game. It does seem like the computer gets more home runs sometimes at the end. <laughs> like, I think, I feel like Tommy the Sorter was similar actually. Like, I don't think it's just the end, but I think they, they rubber band to like close the gap a bit to give you a sense of a thrill, but it's a bit obnoxious because you know, you get, you get a lead and then the computer will just like quickly catch up at some point. I guess to create tension, but it, it, to me it just pisses me off. Like, same with Mario Kart, like, just let me win and let me win good. You don't need to, like, use scummy stuff to keep the computer in the race. Not a fan. Because isn't it on Mario Kart where they, when they're not on, on screen, they're basically inv invincible? And they also sneakily, like, they speed up when they're not on screen to catch up. A bit trashy. It's not fun. <clears throat> I've never really been a fan of the fact in Mario Kart you can do well and then lose in the final moments where you can like totally be miles ahead of everybody for the like 90% of the race and then just lose at the very end because of some bad luck and blue shell crap. Didn't simulate traffic for the opponent. Yeah, that's a the thing. They can just get past easy breezy. Oh. It's hard because at the end of the day, it's like anything. It's so hard to program an, an AI to be fair. Especially in the older games. It's like Mortal Kombat. It's got really trashy AI, but most, I think a lot of fighters have really bad AI. It's just how, I think Mortal Kombat's sometimes just a bit too obvious. In the originals. The hell was that camera angle? They're absolutely getting points. Can't get anybody out. Here it comes, scum. Oh my god. When it goes in the middle, I have no idea if it's going to be a camera angle from the left or the right. Like that. I ran the wrong way. Oh, come on! I thought I tagged you. Might do this one again.
choose the mouse icon. I like the bike on Mario Kart with one particular racer. Oh my god, now it gives me the other fucking angle. This game is trash when it does that. I, ra I thought, oh, I'll run left this time because the last two times it's gone in the middle. It's given me the right camera angle and it gives me the other one, so now I'm running the wrong way. Wrong base. Eh, let's just do over. Five points already is, is not good. Let's reset. I can't afford the losers right now until I'm sure that I'm going to be able to catch up. Come on, let me get some good hits at the start. I feel like it's RNG almost, like fixed for me to suffer in this match. Sometimes I think that goes on too in these games. There can be an element of like sort of program to let you win a few and lose some. Like obviously with, so I don't think it's totally fixed, but I think there's, there's, I think there's matches where the AI is much harder than others. I imagine, I think like the best of sevens do that. They'll let you like win, make you lose one or two to keep the distance. I'm hoping the best of sevens in this have um, passwords. I'll be very annoyed if they don't. to start. Oh, really? There's the computer for you. First swing of the match, home run. Can't be because I have three points. What a great toss. What a great toss. Hey Rosie, how are you? to Clement Street to me. I've only just started actually. I was playing Richard Scary's Busy Town earlier. Finished it. So moved on to do a couple more games of this. This is now game 150 instead of 49. Hornbound. don't know which way you're going to run. Any relief. It was kind of numbing. It was kind of dull. I was At the one point I was wishing I was playing baseball. It's that boring. Why is the computer catching up? Fuck off. Like, really? Wrong base. Sink. 
This match feels very hard. They're doing a lot of really shitty hits. I, f I can't help but feel that it's somewhat... Like the AI is on a particular difficulty right now. Doing some really nasty hits. They're very hard to field. Finish London Spirit Detectives. See, why is that a tag up? That's what's confusing me. He didn't move, so why is it a tag up? Why does he have to move? I thought if you didn't leave the base and they catch it, you can just stay there. It seems to work on other bases. Like, why? Why was, why was it a double play? I'm sure that sometimes I haven't moved off the base and it's been fine. It's worth a look. Yeah, I, like I said, I just thought the sound production wasn't very good. I mean, you never know with games like that, unfortunately. It might just be the story that's the enjoyment. And if you can't, like, read the writing well, it might not come out across that way. Oh, this gets... Fucking... This match just seems unwinnable right now. Whatever. Seven... It's a very story-driven game. That's probably all it's got to offer. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't. See, and that and that's it's very crucial, really, because there's a game called. Um, the Legend of Heroes, Prophecy of the White Witch, and it doesn't have a very good reception in English, and it's because it has a very sort of rigid translation, whereas it's a lot more popular in Japan. I think it's wonderful. It's just a pleasure to read. It's a really well-written story. All the dialogue is really nicely written, but the English translation is a bit just stiff. It's not grossly inaccurate it's just stiff and i think it comes across as just a bit more generic and as gameplay wise it doesn't really have a lot in the way of gameplay it's literally just a lot of walking around talking to people very story driven rpg and i've seen it pop up a lot on lists as like one of the most boring rpgs ever whereas i think it's absolutely just wonderful it's so charming I'm playing it again at the moment for my second time. So, and the story itself isn't like to summarise the story isn't that crazy or innovative, I guess. Well, it sort of is, but it's more about the journey on the way and the interactions with the people. how the mechanics that was just felt to really do anything with them. Visual novel instead of an RPG. I guess. I haven't played it so I can't really say but like just thinking about the one that I have played um, Legend of Heroes you could argue that it could just be a visual novel but then I think the joy of it was like walking around and stuff. It can be a bit boring in places though, because it's basically like, what would you do if you had an RPG where they, where it was mostly walking around towns rather than being in any dungeons? That is Legend of Heroes 3. It does have combat, but it's mostly automated. Not very interesting. 
But I think that's a totally different pedigree of game though, because what I saw of London Spirit Detective, it looked a bit budget to me. Like kind of nice pixel art, but it didn't it didn't seem like a very expensively made game. Oh my god, this match is going to trash. Some RPGs can be really boring though with combat. If you, did you see me play? You saw me play Boundary Gate, right? That was a terrible, terrible like gameplay, but a fantastic story. Turned into crab rangoons. I don't even know what a rangoon is. <laughs> AI gets a grand slam. It doesn't need one. It's already got a leaf. Americanized Chinese food. Is it made of crab? <laughs> they might let me catch up just to be exciting, you know? Yeah, Boundary Gate had a fantastic story and atmosphere. I loved it as a like a story and walking around, but the combat was terrible. It was so easy. It was so thoughtless as well. I oh, didn't get anything. It was actually quite depressing how easy and boring the combat was in that. It really kind of ruined the game in that sense, but I just enjoyed it for the story. Combat got in the way. Oh, so, with all these... There's been so many middle hits in this game. You keep hitting in the same places. There we go. Let's have some more of these, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, dive in the wrong bloody way. <laughs> you've got to dive quick to catch it, but you've only got a, like a half a second to work out which way you need to dive. Oh, come on. Oh. 
There we are. How many outs are we on? Oh my god, this is a disaster. All these crappy middle hairs. Oh, for fuck's sake. At what point do I... I think I just... yeah. That's a rip. <laughs> that game ain't happening. I let it go, but I'm just concerned that Detroit might just be total assholes and never lose another match. I mean, even if that happens, then I've, I'm, I'm screwed. They don't seem to lose many. So I've only lost... I think I've lost two? Or three matches so far, and I'm two behind. So Detroit, I think I've only lost one or zero so far. It's ass. So what is a Rangoon? Is it like a spring roll, but with crab? Oh. All these hits are really shitty. parcel things. Hey Tin Sarah. How are you? Fried dumplings with cheese. It's Monday, getting coffee and awake. Like cream cheese. know anything about the rule of this? How are you outside still in this game? What do you mean? Outside still? Can someone explain to me how I can have one person standing on first base and one person batting and I hit a fly ball and the person on first base doesn't move, the batter is out when it's caught, and then they throw it to first base and tag the person out. 
I thought if you didn't move, you were safe. And the only thing I can think of is maybe his foot wasn't on the thing? Oh, fuck you. Wouldn't be on the base. Why do I have to move? Why, why aren't they on base? I didn't make them move. I think it did look like they weren't though. Oh for God's sake. They sort of do. I can edge them. But they do. But like when it's a fly ball they don't run. I guess they just go to uh, what do you call it? Extend. So uh, it happened like 15 minutes ago or something. Why is this match being so ru rude? Yeah, I'm just wondering what to do then. Oh, I guess I need to make them make sure that they move back the <laughs> centimeter. These hits are really shit. I think it's my pitcher to be honest. I think the pitcher's just a bit garbage and the AI is hard. Can I like, swap him out perhaps? I might do it soon. can't make this up. Whichever way I run is always the wrong way. Oh, I should have dove. This is going so badly tonight. I'm just going to start again. Again! I waste my time. I don't have, I've got no other pitch. Like, can't I use Bacton? Why can't he go? Why is he only in reserve? Like, why have I only got to pick from these crappy pitches with high ERAs? Why can't I pick, like, Wisner or Bacton or instead? McDougal. I can swap in the match, but why can't I have them in the first place? What are they doing? Are they on the team? Oh, really? You caught that. Computer would have caught that.
Let me get a point, you know? <gasps> See there, this situation. Is he not on the base then, I guess? I need to make him move, is that what's happening? Because he's about to get thrown out, I think. Okay, that is what it is. That's silly, I have to move him back. He's not moving. It'd be better if he moved back automatically, because I'm clearly not going anywhere. Well, that's that cleared up anyway. Because that was a struggle yesterday. I kept getting out. It's hard to tell. Like, on the radar, it was hard to tell that he wasn't on the base. Trying to run to second, little shit. These hits, they're all lousy. Can't get a single good hit. Thank you. Oh yeah, I was going to change my picture. Let's do it. That's better. Nice and fast. Glad of wow, lovely change of picture.
Ah! It's not going well. Christ, this is this 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 particular match is just not giving, is it? I feel like there's rigory. I feel like there's there's like imagine there's an AI and it's got like a level one to like a level five. I feel like this is on a four right now. Whereas like previous matches have maybe been on a two or a three. It's a bit like when you play Tecmo World Cup. The AI, you can choose it in the options for exhibition mode. The AI's got four or five difficulties, I think, and it's like the finals are at full AI. Regardless of team, it's just they're always harder. Piss off! God! This particular match against them is savage. Didn't I beat them last night twice? And it's like the third one I have to I have to lose. I'd love to, but I'm scared. Then I'll be three down, you know? But I'm not making any progress. I was hoping to like get a few matches done this evening, not just sit on the first one for an hour. These wanky hits. I've ever done that as well. Touch the right sides. All right, finally a good hit. Why didn't he just run? If he hadn't hesitated, he'd have got in. Fucking... Oh, oh wow. One point.
two home runs and nobody's on the pitch. Whoops. Always a risk doing that fastball, but it seems to be the best way to do like three outs. But if they hit a fastball, it's such a bugger. They don't seem to really throw fastballs. You can see the way the computer moves though in relation to my pitching, so it must be a thing. But also notice the computer never moves forwards or backwards. They only move, seem to move left or right, and it is from where I throw it. So that must be the best way to pitch. Uh, no, hit rather. Oh, was that a ball? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I get it has to go over the right square, doesn't it? Not the lines. Just let me get a point or two, please. Stop hitting it up. Yikes. Don't catch it. Oh my god, just let me get a point. I don't like pitching to the left handed batters. Safe. 
I forgot I wanted to add that. No! Okay. Thought it was going to be another home run. That's the end of that match. Unbelievable. <gasps> Loves doing this. To the bloody bin. Just, I wish I just knew if it was worth leaving it. One grand slam, that ain't happening. Out, we lose. See, Detroit didn't lose again. They keep winning. Every time I lose, it's just making the gap bigger between Detroit. Unless they're going to start losing some. I mean, they'll have to lose a few because I have to play them soon. But I only get three matches against them. I'm just not sure whether to continue on. Because hypothetically, if they never lose another match except against me, I'll only draw. You know? It's worrying. <laughs> I would like to have a closer gap. And I don't want to find out in match 39 that I fucked myself over 20 games ago. It's really, really annoying. <sighs> Sometimes just go again. Because that happened in Tommy Lasorda. I got to the final. I drew with the winner. And the game didn't accept a draw. Even though I think technically in baseball you would have a... Like a sudden death or whatever you call it. But in Tommy Lasorda I drew and it just said game over. And I didn't get to go to the championships. So then I had to find an old password and go back like six matches and do them all again to make sure I didn't draw in the end. It was really annoying. So I kind of would really like to avoid that scenario happening, but this match is being a bitch. Well, <laughs> I can't seem to win this one. They seem to hit. All my hits seem a bit poo and the computer just keeps doing all these like short middle hits instead of big wide ones <sighs> see why why the fuck are you able to catch that it's so irritating that would be too hard for me to catch you need to already be reacting to it and running in advance like as the ball is hit in order to make that one there's no... The computer doesn't pretend to have any sort of thought. It just is already going. It's scummy. Already running in the right direction. Meanwhile...
Excuse me? Cheeseburger up to bat. Followed by S pits. Indeed. D. Charlton. Oh, F the fuck off. Big yikes, that was. Rubbish. Somebody was going to be out. You just can't get anywhere. I need to start diving right. It's just your gut reaction because the ball goes to the left on this screen, but then when it flips, it's the right. But it still depends on where you're standing. Some cheeky pauses. Still hard to do. Ooh, I'm actually, you actually can't pause. That was actually pausing the uh, technology. Pauses brings up the roster menu. I just panic sometimes with a bunt. Bunting scummy anyway. You can't actually pause all the time. Like I can pause there. But you have to wait until it's the right time. Them. 
foul, right? No. <laughs> Bosoms. You for real, bitch. Her. So we're gonna score in a minute, I can feel it. I can feel the computer coming. No! <gasps> Let me get a point! No! Oh, okay then. <laughs> Come on, T Pam. You suck, T Pam. Oh my god, these double plays are fucking killing me. Out. You literally you can't risk anything against the computer because they'll just double play. Don't judge me. Do do do. Might change picture. I don't like this. Oh, here's Mr. Home Runner. Look at him sitting there, ready to set up his pissing ground slam. Well, won't be a ground slam, but be three points. This is it. I can feel it. This is this is the home run coming. Don't you dare. What do you mean, walk them? What does that mean? I had that advice before. I think the rocket talk itself told me. Protect the runners when they steal by swinging at the pitch. If there's always a guy that hits a home run, throw four balls to him. And he'll just have to go to first. Ah. I'm not sure though because if he walks then there's three people on the pitch now and does everybody get to advance one place I'm just gonna risk it oops yes he didn't do it it's fine yeah, what you mean though? In a game where I was better at see, I struggle to to catch anybody on third base. I don't like people on third base because I find it very hard to get them out. Tits. 
That's what it means, making them walk. I'm learning things. Hornbound. Watch out. Oh. No! Mood. I thought that was going to be a home run, so I jumped to try and grab it. A little too late. They snuck their points in. Now, can I get any? He didn't move. <laughs> Home run, please. About time. <sighs> See, burger. See ya, burger. Ridiculous. Oh, he's a home runner. Look at him. This is scary. Phew. Oh, what? Right. 
Homebound, watch out. He's always doing nonsense. Oh, I'm bunt away. Fuck you. Do you ever play any baseball games on Retro Achievements? They had them. Sports games always seem like they'd be quite difficult. Like having ridiculous objectives. Like win the league with without letting the computer get a single run or something stupid. Isn't baseball on the NES? He'd like to do Ken Griffey, but you has his own. Who's Ken Griffey? Ooh! <laughs> Excite him. Dive under the ball. Baseball guy. Ah, one of those. Grand Slam, if you please. You didn't please. Come on! Do I have anybody? S Pits, get lost. Do I have anybody better than S Pits? Who's after S Pits? Oh, Samolski. Samolski. He's got a higher hitting average. Only 12 home runs, though. Come on, Pitts. No, don't. No, they're all going to be everywhere. Oh, my. These eagles. Who are the eagles? Why are they so powerful? Where are we? Baltimore. Sweaty to their friends. We've had Stinky. That was absolutely Grand Slam material. It's like get 10 home runs in a row in home run mode. What's home run mode? Just practicing swinging. This game doesn't have a home run mode. Get a triple play. Fuck this computer. Like, why was I nowhere near that side? Like, nobody was there. Whoa! God, one more person. Just let me get them out. <laughs> See, sometimes I think I should turn errors back on, but that would be an exact moment where you know I would get an error. It would kill me. I'd love another point just to feel a bit more cosy. <laughs> it's 
Stop running! I'm, I'm trying to get ready for the next swing. Oh my god. No! Infield fly. I'm not even sure if I've ever hit one. This is miserable. Jay, ready? We're not ready for you. We can't handle it. Let's switch to Samolski, who's proven himself to be useless up until now, where he's going to change history, I believe. Samolski, an absolute legend. Never doubted him for a moment. Ah, which base are we going to? Can't catch me, bitch. And black. Don't catch it. You don't you, you didn't need to catch that and ruin it. Oh look at his look at his energy. He is tired. We'll change to Wisna. Sorry, go have a rest. You deserve it. I don't think I've ever used Wisna. Don't let me down. What a whiz. Oh, Hornbound. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin this. Hornbound! One more. Come on. One more. No pressure, Endo. Yes! I win. Oh my god. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm buzzing. A glorious victory. Amazing. Incredible, some people saying. Not so bad. Not bad at all. have them everywhere. 
absolutely marvellous. The results from today's game. Detroit still didn't win that. I still didn't lose. It's very, very annoying. <sighs> I am keeping that password with my life. If you mirrored him, he'd fit in on the right. He would. <laughs> We're against Texas now. We could do it. Oh, I deleted it already. Oh well. Much better, don't you think? Imagine this was your game. Coming up next on Roger Palmer's MVP Baseball, I'm your presenter, Ronald, and I'm your presenter, Barbara. Take it away, Barbara. Coming up next, we have an exciting match between Boston versus Texas. Make sure you stick around to watch. Boston will be training very hard, getting very angry. Today's game is Texas. Vis oh, sorry, Texas are visiting Boston. Get my facts right. And who can we have? Go crabs! Hey, Retro. Did I even pick my pip? Did I even pick my person? I don't remember. It. Play ball. I will in a minute. Let me just remove those lovely presenters. I've managed to win one match this evening, Retro. It's very long and painful. We did finish Richard Scary's Busy Town. Fast catch. S. Wadner. Does anybody know, are these players real people or is it just Roger Clemens and the rest are made up? J. Reddy? They don't sound like real surnames. Reedy? Mm. 
M black. Really? S park him. Parodies of rename is art. Oh, you, can, can you actually recognize the who they're supposed to be? Jay Hunt. So it would be circa 91, 92 players. P. Griffith. I, get, I gathered the team names weren't real. Because it's not the Boston Crabs, is it? Who are Boston? <gasps> and who's the Red Sox? I've heard of those. C Burger <gasps> See I moved him back onto the base then I was ready. Cowboys, Texas Cowboys. Come off it. <laughs> Should have thrown to home then, but I just uh, didn't know where it is. How's your Monday anyway? So we're going to work. Weekend is over. Chilly here, time to make coffee. I used to be drinking coffee and think about going to bed, but got my blanket. Oh. 
does get harder to go into work as it gets colder. It's hard to just get out of bed. What was going on there? Straight into his hand. Ah, Selleck. past it. Sneak at him in. Ooh, some crazy dive grabs that you can do in this that feel kind of a bit rubbish. Oh, he's got a different coloured eye from this side. He's white. Or is it the other team? The catcher. Oh, 
Not the cat, the guy behind the strike line. <gasps> Lovely week at Sora Play. What play did you see? Boutique shopping, enjoyed the local colour. That sounds lovely. I went to like a lights illumination of like the autumn leaves changing at some like botanical garden with my friend, and then um, then we took a nice well, we took a nice walk there, and then we walked around, saw all the trees and leaves as they're changing colour from like green to red, and they had like. We went in the evening and it was all lit up. You could walk through. It was be absolutely beautiful. It was like this beautiful lake with you could see from the reflection of the trees on the water. And then we took a walk into sort of like the shopping, the shopping street. Had some Starbucks coffees and sat outside on these chairs and just watched people go by. It was really nice. Lovely here too. I can imagine. I miss the autumn of the UK. I miss the smell of it. I miss the woods and the soft grounds and the trees. I used to go with my dad when I was younger. We used to go picking conkers. I mean, it's more of a British thing, but do you know what a conker is? Like the little... I don't even know what, what what's the seed is. Chestnut? No, not chestnut. It's then like a spiky shell. Are they actually just called conkers? I would pick those and then you like hit them. You put them on string and you play a game where you try and hit the other person's conker and break it. It's like a traditional British sort of autumn activity. I used to go with my dad, to, he'd drive the car, we'd go to these like bigger woods and walk around and try and find the best conkers. Yeah, it was nice. Collect, like, like, come back with a big bag full of them. I'm losing this match. He's got a red eye from this side. Is it just my team? Are we red? Is that why? Oh, let's just do over. This match has just gone to rubbish. I need 
Detroit to lose before I'm gonna start letting matches go. If I could just get a bit of a lead. Because I'm guessing this isn't even a full season. I think it started me like 70 matches into the season. I like Dark and Burger being back to back. Oh, I should have done tag up. It wouldn't have made it anyway, I don't think. Look at him running, bastard. <sighs> As if. one in. It's so hard, I find, as the human player, to actually even just get to first base. why they overtune some of these sports games. I don't know why they did it. I get it if it was in the arcade. But again, even in the arcade, you wouldn't have a game like this in the arcade really, would you? Because it'd take too long. And does it matter, win or lose? Hey Jamesy, how are you? Peter Griffith? Oh. 
Not going very well tonight. I've only won one game. And only progressed one game because I kept trying again. I did finish Richard Scary though. You will just catch anything, won't you, bitch? <gasps> Am I streaming the Roger Clemens channel? No. Should I? So I got 31 followers. Feel like I'll find any of the hardcore Roger Clemens people. People don't follow games, especially when they're old. Like unless it's a huge game like Final Fantasy VII or something, like God of War or I don't know Grand Theft Auto. People don't follow games that they like because they just you know you just don't remember to. There's loads of games that I like that I don't follow. This game only has 31 followers, but I'm sure that there's a lot more than 31 people that have memories of this game and probably have nostalgia for it. I don't think it's always a reflection, it's just that it's not as memorable as other games. A lot of Mega Drive games don't have a lot of people that follow them. It'd be cool if they had like a Twitch channel for like retro sports. You could go in that and just watch any re That would be a cool idea, don't you think? Like you, if you just want to watch like retro sports games, you could just flick between different people playing different sports. That would be quite funny. What do I follow? Um, Fancy Star. Um, Crusade of Senti. Like Soleil. <gasps> Mega Panel. Echo the Dolphin. A lot of the Mega Drive games I've played, I, I sometimes drop them a follow after I've played them. Interesting to watch other people play. Um, a Legend of Dragoon. Sweet Coda. Mostly old games. I don't follow modern games because I don't really like to watch people playing new games because I haven't played them myself a lot of the time. But yeah, I follow Mega Panel. I follow Mermanoid, Boundary Gate. <laughs> Today I, I just followed the STG Shooter channel. This is just for people to shoot, do shoot them but people don't do it much. <laughs> Arthur Live, I can't remember if I followed that one. <gasps> Cannot get a fucking point in this game. <laughs> it's very irritating. Start to fill up the bases and then out. <gasps> Just one of those evenings. I had a much better time with this last night.
follow Sonic Wong and I'd outrun. The majority of streamers that I've found that weren't just in Rastro I found from like playing Fancy Star. I don't really bother with modern games because there's usually always somebody streaming whatever anyway. But the interesting thing with like an older game is to see like, oh my god, somebody's streaming Mega Panel? Like, then I'm like, oh, who's that? Oh, I follow Ease as well. Ease 4, because I really like that. I will usually have a look. If I see somebody's playing Ease, I'll usually have a little look and see who it is. How's the season coming on badly? I've literally done one game. I keep having to reset because I keep losing. I can't afford to lose. Then it's Richard Scary though. Run for your wife. Oh, the name of the play? Never heard of that. What era is it, do you know? Is it a modern play? Fuck off! I'll move back! How far away was he? <laughs> eh, it was kind of boring, to be honest. Not, it wasn't even... I don't think it was like funny in a... In, in like even in a funny way, it was just kind of dull. Like Sesame Street was more cursed. 1983... I wonder if there's like a TV version. It had a few amusing moments, but no, I didn't. Not seen a lot of plays, especially not living in the UK. I can't now, really. I am going to the theatre when I go home though. I'm going to go see White Christmas at some point. Somewhere. <coughs> Very looking forward to that. To it. Ah, why did it? Oh, oh, nobody ran. Ah, oh, this game is killing me. Ow. Just to make a party to do the equipment. I've never played one. Like I said, I'd like to get the Saturn version, but it's just a bit expensive and doesn't show up too often. Rubbish hair. <laughs> Might change pictures. Who's pitching? 
Oh, it's Mr. Clemens. Oh. It goes to the left, so you go to the left, and you're wrong. You're wrong. I hate when the game does like this, though. Like, I have this sometimes in Tommy Lasorda. Just feels like a total fucking waste of the evening to, like, just keep losing. <laughs> it takes so long to lose. Like, I... I'm only going to get through one match this evening, probably at this rate. But I'd like to have done four. Like, I've played probably about five or six games, but I'm only going to probably keep the progress in one of them. Ooh. I'm literally getting tempted to reset this one at any moment now. Can't seem to score for shit. Oh, I probably could have made that. Give me a home run. Rip. But yeah, I'd really like to play Wizardry, but I just, I'd like to get the Saturn version. It looks really intriguing. I like the 3D. It's really expensive. And then the, the sequel that's on the PlayStation 2 is expensive as well. I want to get, like, most of the Wizardry series on the Saturn. You can get them. Is it only Wizardry what? No, it's the same as what you're playing, but it's just a later release. It's 1, 2, 3. It's exactly the same game thing. It's got the same box art. just an, an enhanced, improved version of what you're doing. <gasps> Can you let a guy get a point? I've had 10 hits and no runs. Oh. 
Heart attacks is no now, it's being dicks. Oh my god! Wrong button. Texas Cowboys. We don't. Ridiculous. Like, what the hell is that? We hit. Ten times and not a single run. Oh, did Detroit actually lose? I think Detroit lost. I still don't want to keep it though. Not until we're closer. Mm -mm. Is it worth the risk? Just do over. I think I'm just gonna do over. If I can just get the lead, then I'll start to like let some matches slide. I just want to make sure I'm a, I'm ahead of Detroit when I get to playing Detroit, because I want to win those three games. You know? Wait, let me just check that again. Yeah, they did. They lost. They lost that last match. So, they'll probably win now, though. Look at the scum they are. Oh, crap. I thought I tagged him. Through too quickly. Should have been out.
three clean hits. He's trying to run. Power up! Hey, hey, hey! How's it going? Of course. Plan on taking any games back to Japan? Mm, there's not much to take at this point. My PlayStation's broken, so nothing to pick up. I sort of took everything last year. And I can't play any of it. So I wanted I had plans this year. I wanted to play Medieval 2 and Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger. I wanted to do the Legacy of Cain series. Buffy Chaos Bleeds was a plan for Halloween, but but I can't play it. I need to get a new PlayStation 2 or get it fixed, but God knows how much they cost now. I ain't got the money to be buying a PlayStation 2 right now in the UK. I don't want to use any Japanese money because the exchange rate is terrible. But yeah, I can't really think of anything there would be to pick up. Um, no. Everything's all region locked. Japanese console with the power supply. No, I need a UK one. <sighs> Maybe a couple of PlayStation 3 or 4 games if my brother doesn't want them. I can't remember. This game's actually just pissing me off now, tonight. Like, it's just being relentless. Like, ease up. The fielding, the AI fielding is just so overtuned.
I mean, I could, but I don't know how much they cost and stuff. I mean, I assume they're going to cost about 70, 80 quid oh. these days, if not more. I don't really have that money. Because, like, in yen, it would end up being, like, almost double because the exchange rate is so awful. And that, and just generally, like, you've had it... There's been a lot of inflation in the UK, whereas there's not been quite so much here. And, like, the standard of living... Well, not the standard of living, but the cost of living, but also minimum wage has gone up dramatically in the UK, but it's not really here. It has to a degree, but not the same level. So like, I don't know, like 80 quid to me feels like a lot of money from when I used to live in the UK. Whereas now I get the impression it's not really much at all. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not. It's probably like 40 quid used to be. I mean, I see video games now in the UK. They're all like, what, $59.99? $49.99? To me, that's insane. When I was, like, growing up, games were like $39.99, and that was expensive. Most games I bought were like $29.99. If they were new. I thought about it. I have another PlayStation in the UK. I have a fat. But it's also got Disc Regan Error Syndrome. Which is why I got the Slim that I have, which is now bust. am I supposed to know that that's final base? Where's the striker? Huh? Excuse me? I thought that was third base. Piss off. Where's the guy with the glove and the mitt and the helmet? You know, the, the guy behind the... Urgh. Does he walk away and come back? Thirty five pounds. Another for twenty five. Really? I I'd be worried they wouldn't work though. Thirty five pounds. I wouldn't want any game. They're just so fragile, I'd worry that it was, like, broken. Maybe I should look into it. But what I really want in the new year, I really want a retro tink. Because then I'd be able to play the PAL games in better picture quality. Or just some solution like Techie Rob does or something, I don't know. Then I could play like NTSC versions of the English games instead that would be better. Because they don't look good on my TV. Like, you remember when I played the Summoner, the top of the screen was cropped off. And the bottom. Because it's the wrong aspect for t televisions. 
is his pal. Oh god, this game is just making me want to just throw my coffee at the TV, I swear. time I'd have been able to tag him. Wait, why, why is it's going in the middle and why is nobody there? That's the thing. I think that's what's making this particularly difficult, I would say. The computer's not really doing many fly balls at all tonight. All their hits are pretty wide and fast. Come on! Fucks! <laughs> How did he double play me? <laughs> I was trying to send him back. a poem. Too hard. It's just scummy sometimes. Whew. I mean, I've proven that you can win. Like, I've won quite a few times, but sometimes it just feels like the AI just goes like... Nah. And I have really shit RNG with, like, ever getting home runs and stuff. I just think that there's certain hits that I do that the computer, like, to make it a more fun experience, the computer shouldn't be 100% always catching. There's particular hits, basically. There's only about four types of hits that the computer will not fucking catch, and it's really, really, really irritating, because a human player would miss them. Like, when it goes way out at the back on the left, like, the computer's just ungodly always there. Like, mm, that's fair enough, but... But yeah, there's literally there's there's only about three types of hits that the computer won't field without ever failing. Like I'm struggling because I'm a human. I don't know where the ball's going. I don't know how to react always. 
But the, the the patterns of the hits, like the game is actually that fluid. Every there's probably I could probably guess like what would it be? There must be about like twenty variations of hitting in this game, and that's it. It always goes in the same places, in the same distances, in the same spots. Maybe more, maybe twenty five to thirty. And I'd say that the computer can perfectly catch about 20 of them. Because like that, I've done I've done this exact pattern of this double play where I run in, grab, tag, throw, flawlessly. The ball always goes to the same place, but it's just recognizing when it will do it. But the computer is a machine, so it doesn't have the problem of recognising. So it will always successfully double play you, and that's where it's a bit shit. It's Thanksgiving week sod off. <laughs> oh yeah! But like, let's see what hits I do, and I'll be able to tell you whether it will catch it or not. Okay, so that's a catch. And an out. Always, if you hit it like that. Whoops. A catch and an out. I mean, they're, they're shit hits, though, to be fair. It should be catching them. That's an out. There's no errors. But errors... You can turn errors on. You should be allowed to turn errors on for the computer, but not you. <laughs> like, the computer needs to have errors. I don't. If I'm in the right position, I don't need... I don't want to drop it. But the computer will always be in the right position. See, that kind of a hit, I'm struggling to catch it because I didn't know where to go. That kind of hit then, the computer will always fucking catch that. Without fail. And that's where it's trash. Because you cannot be a second late to run for that one. If you are, you won't make it in time. But the computer will never be a second late. And so it will always catch it and you will always be out. And so many of your hits are like that. He also loves bunting, and you can't really bunt. You've got to basically to not get the computer to catch you out. You've got to hit it in a position where it's actually impossible for them to to catch it. It's how it feels, anyway. Oh, thank God. No, the batting's all over the place. It's very finicky. And there's too many variables for you to try and plan it, I think. Okay, that's okay. Bit of both. I mean, there is, a, there is a sort of thing to it. It's where you hit it on the bat from the swing, but <clears throat> the pitcher's going to move. He's going to do different types of throws as well. And it's also the timing of your swing, too. You want to hit it, like, a little bit away from the edge. But even then, it's not guaranteed to be a good hit. It might not be a home run. Fucking... We drew. Oh, I should change my picture. Uh, 
Please, begging you. Oh. Not you. Have I got anybody with a higher home run? Come on, Samolski. Just need a fucking home run. Damn it. Batting and just the overtuned ability for them to catch shit. Was that and they keep lately they keep hitting like way too much here tonight they've been hitting here loads <gasps> please let me score please <laughs> Just one home run, just one, just one. Best pitcher out now. To go to bed, Texas.
is not the greatest game of all baseball you've ever seen. Come on, Sea Burger. Unbelievable! Oh my god! I give up! <sighs> Insane. They'll end it in a minute. They're gonna get. They're gonna get a home run, just to be shitty. When I can't do anything about it. Oh, please, 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 let me just get one fucking home run. Somebody, somebody, hit me a home run. You're all useless. Do it. <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh. F you know, the first two of those hits were really good hits as well. Fuck this computer. <sighs> oh, here's Mr. Home Run. Fielding isn't too easy though. Fielding is hard. <laughs> I'm just practice now. <gasps> nah, not really. <laughs> it just took me a while to get good at it. Yeah, the computer is too good at it. I'm just trying to keep up. God's sake. Are we really in the 15th inning? Just one sodding point. Hey. 
Oh, yeah. usually go past the ninth. <gasps> Ridiculous. I don't even care who wins almost. No, I care a little bit. <laughs> I went, I planned to go to bed 20 minutes ago. change my pitcher now before he gets tired come on Wisner <laughs> fucking Uh, yeah. Toss. That hit was so shit. It won't happen. You thought to lose many more. I don't know. I haven't been keeping them. I've been resetting. I'm not going to keep this one. Wop, wop, wop. What a waste of 45 fucking minutes that was. Good God. It seems like Detroit are always going to lose this match, but I would very much like to win it. <laughs> Just to close the gap. So I'm too behind. That's the problem. If I had a lead, I'd, I'd take the loss, but I don't. So, but anyway, this game can just do one. I need to go to bed.